Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now, the button below. With all these salawats and all these actions, they have a shield all around. And all shaitan wants now is that you make a sin and as soon as the servant sins, they come in to attack. But this is a very dangerous time in which to allow sins because these attacks are going to be like a death blow. If they begin to come in, they come and enter into your back and from your back they try to penetrate into your lungs and to shut down your breathing mechanism. So it's the sins that people do that bring down the shield of their protection. That shield is a shield that protects your faith. When you have too much doubt, too many waswases means you're sinning. It's like any doctor you come and say, okay I have all these blisters, the doctor knows immediately you must be eating a lot of sugar because these marks that are coming are known to them. They know that what you do its effect is going to be on your physicality so they merely just scan your physicality, they know what you're doing incorrect in your physiology. Imagine then for akhirah. It's so much easier. When somebody has excessive doubts, excessive concerns, too many waswases, it's you have too many sins. You're wasting your time on heedless and needless things that you're doing and you know best what you're doing. You're doing something that not pleasing by Allah You think it to be something minor but it only takes a leak for shaitan to come through. So like you have a crack in your house, you don't need to have the door open for the, the lion to come through. You just need a crack for the rats to come through. And they come through very small crack because they can squeeze their body in. So it means that this is not the time to be content with sinning and say, oh well, Allah will forgive. Oh, by the time Allah forgive you could be dead. And then you meet Allah and say, what happened? Say, I forgave you. You went through your difficulty now you're forgiven. But those who want to survive this difficulty, stop the sinning, stop the bad characteristic, stop wasting your time in, in heedless things that have no value. Do your salawats, read your Holy Qur'an, do your salawats, do your zikr, do your prayers. When you have free time watch the videos to learn, educate yourself. Don't post heedless things. You post and everyone knows then you're being heedless and whatever foolish things you're doing. You're showing the whole world that you're acting foolish. Then what Allah is going to think? If the whole world can say, what is this guy doing all day long? Why are you posting this garbage? Why aren't you studying? Why aren't you trying to improve yourself? That way you won't complain that you have concerns, you have doubts, you have sicknesses, you have every type of difficulty. Those things shouldn't be even able to approach you. But there must be then a hole in your protection. And that's how they understand. So they keep giving you du'a, keep doing this. But what's the benefit if you're going to keep doing things that Allah considers a sin? When Allah knows zina is a sin, communicating with people who are not married is a sin, doing things that are not correct in Allah's eyes is a sin. That sin is all the shaitan needs to enter in. When he enters in, this is not anymore like before. These devils are all around trying to destroy and to kill. We pray that Allah inspire us to understand and to build our energies and protect ourselves. These salawats, these duruts, when you read the words you understand is that this guy's not making up. These awliyaullah wrote all of these that protect me, protect me, protect me. I've been overcome by these desires, I have been overcome by shaitan. You think it's a coincidence? That at the time that people are dying when they can't take a breath, their tree of life is being extinguished and burned like we saw in Lord of the Rings when the shaitan set the fire to the tree. Allah gave his marketing, Allah had his marketing go out all over the world in, in these movies, they're inspired. And the tree of life is burning and shaitan that's all he's happy for. If he can take one of these Bani Adam out before they become rijal, if they reach to Rijan, they're like a chess game or checker game. He gets crowned with the power of a thousand men. 
if shaitan had a problem with one man, what do you think his problem is with the man who became a power, as powerful as a thousand men? As soon as they reach to the goal and they become Rijalullah, as if they have the power of a thousand men, even beyond that understanding their power that Allah gave to them. So shaitan has no interest in men or women to reach to Allah's satisfaction. He has every incentive to cut them down and take their legs out. We pray that Allah give us strength to reach the finish line, mm. to reach Allah's satisfaction, the nazar of Prophet to be our safety and our shield. When something wrong and you know some big neighbour coming to beat you up as a child and you ran to Baba, if you have special big Baba you run to him and ah, you can't do anything now. This is the same thing. Our, our salvation, our safety is to run to Sayyidina Muhammad So, I don't know what I've done, these shaitans are all after me and it's enough just to run into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and let Prophet obliterate every falsehood and every incorrect, okay. every wealth. They, they have what they believe they were born into Islam and yet they saw so many of these tariqah miracles and they don't believe in it. And you come across somebody like uh, Mary Yasin's mom who suffers so much in her physical difficulties and has immense love for Prophet immense love for the zikr. And always look with astonishment, my loved ones I can't get them to believe like that. Whom Allah sends and what conditions they have of difficulty in their life. And still with that difficulty they have this immense love for the Divinely Presence and a heart that sees the reality, that's why they're attracted to it. And everybody else and many others may have many different and they don't see that reality. We pray that Allah dress and bless those servants that see that reality and take away their suffering and their difficulties. Amen. And that these are souls that have an immense immense station and height in Divinely Presence. That every difficulty that they endure on earth is carrying many different difficulties. Mawlana Shaykh's teaching is that, don't think the suffering of Ahlul Bayt and Imam Hussain salam was in vain. He said, not even the bite of a mosquito is in Allah's plan and takes away a difficulty. He loves his creation so much that even if he sends a mosquito to bite you, it has a wisdom, it has a, a najat, it has a difficulty that even the mosquito will be taking away a difficulty. This is the love that Allah has for his creation. So when you see certain souls and their difficulties, their suffering, their sicknesses and they have an immense love, you must know how close they are to Allah to Prophet to all the Prophets in their brotherhood of love. We pray that Allah surround us with people of good hearts and, and love and ishq that's so sincere. There's no need to be a room filled with fake people. We need a room just a few handful of real people and we can move mountains. This little group can move mountains. Because it's sincere and loving. We don't need audiences filled with people like stuffing for a pillow. You're just stuffing and stuffing and stuffing and stuffing. Why? It's not going to be a turkey we're eating. We need sincere people who come with all their love, with all their sincerity. We pray that Allah surround us with these types of people, these sincere and loving people, inshaAllah. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.